Well, we've been watching the U.S. swimming trials this week, so we know before athletes get to Paris, you got to make Team USA. Today we're joined by Kate Brim, a Paralympian, hoping to make the team this summer. Uh, you've already uh, pocketed a couple of world championships, so I imagine for you, uh, the, making these Olympic trials, it's a pressurized race, but you've, you've been to the top of the podium. You know what it takes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's definitely still a lot of nerves. Um, the competition is is always shuffling and always changing, and you always got to keep your head on a swivel. Um, but, you know, the last three years for me now has been just nothing but growth, opportunity, and, like, trialing at every single race, one race at a time. And, you know, that's what I'm hoping to be able to do upcoming. And This yeah. is it, though, now. You're three weeks out from the Olympic trials, and then at the uh, end of August, it's it's time, hopefully, for you to, to race in Paris. It's It's... It's all coming to all these years of work are now suddenly right in front of you. Yes, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, July 7th is our qualifying event, and that's the, the last stage that we have to hopefully punch our tickets to Paris. And, you know, every single one of us have put in our absolute best as far as getting ourselves there. And, you know, that's going to be displayed on um, July, uh, July 7th. And it's, yeah, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Well, you're not from Colorado, but you come here because like so many endurance athletes, obviously it, it asks a lot of you when you want to train, the altitude here can be punishing but effective. Yes, <laughs> yep. Yeah, me, the, the resources I've had here has just been absolutely incredible in dialing in my training and just, you know, learning the bike. I came into this very, the sport um, kind of suddenly. I started off at a, as a recreational rider, you mm -hmm. know, just doing the doing the bike for enjoyment and, you know, getting me getting me on the bike and like getting me outside of my chair um, after my injury just as like a form of you know self-entertainment and it was also just my little motivator to continue pushing myself. And you and the bike have to be in sync. You, you yeah. now probably have a bike that you think is perfect. Yep that is absolutely correct yeah we all all have our individual needs and likes with our equipment and that's something that we're always working to perfect and dial in. Um, and it's definitely something that I've been doing. People who may not uh, have seen as much of the Paralympics as they've seen of the Olympics, they've seen, you know, Olympic cycling. But when you talk about the Paralympic cycling, there are many different categories. You are an H2, which means what? So, yes, the um, Paralympic cycling has a wide variety of different categories. They have the H categories, um, which is the hand-propelled bikes, and then they have the T categories. Those are the trike categories. Um, those are one wheel in front, two wheels in back, an upright cyclist. Then we have the C categories. Those are upright bikes. bikes. Um, typically you see amputees, mm -hmm. some spinal cord injuries, um, some TBIs, just lots of variety. And then we also have um, a category for the visually impaired classification, um, which is the tandems, which is two people, one big bike. So, so with you as a hand cyclist, I mean, this is a, asks a tremendous amount of, of your upper body above your injury. Every bit of it has to be all in. Yeah, yep, for sure. It's um, the hand bike is a very unique, you know, in many ways I look at it as an art because it's, it's a lot of a lot of upper body strength for sure, um, and it's also you know a very dis difficult discipline at times. Um, but it's you know been the driver for me as far as like. Proving both to myself, you know, what I truly am capable of and also showing others, you know, there's, yes, we have these limitations and we have these unfortunate circumstances that we um, are, you know, shown and brought with, but there's still so much out there and that's exactly what the handbag has been for me. You're driven, you're talented, you've already won world championships. I can't wait to see uh, what, what the future holds for you, both at the U.S. Olympic trials and then hopefully in Paris as well. Kate, we love having you by here. Thanks for visiting today. Yes, thank you. Good to see you. Remember, the, uh, the Paralympics in Paris 2024 will get underway on August 28th.